So I've made it here with my dad. We're out hunting for a red stag up on the tops. I'm looking everywhere for a good red stag. You couldn't go in level four or level three. But now we're doing a public land red stag hunt. My name's Jack, dad's name's Brian. But yeah, it's raining right now, pretty wet. But we have to go and walk to the hut. And then when we get there, we'll go up the hill hopefully, if it's not clagged in. If it is, we'll probably wait down the hut and then go tomorrow. But right now, it's a bit clagged in up the tops. But it should get better later on, or tomorrow. It's meant to clear up. We're in here for a week, hunting for a week. And hopefully I get some good footage. And yeah. Pretty quiet out here, which is good. No no people, surprisingly. Thought there'd be a few people, but nah, no one. It is a Monday. We're gonna be here for a week. But yeah. Stay tuned. Hopefully we get something. Alright, so we've just come across on the lake with the boat. Alright, now we're going to start walking and try and get up to the hut and then figure out if we want to keep walking up the hill tonight if it's not plagued in. I've got my 223, Dad's got a 270 and we're going to go in there for about a week try and get a chamois, pig or a nice stag and yep it's pretty good, lake's real flat, and yeah, even before we fish, on the way across, we ended up catching one, it was small so we put it back, and we lost two, so that happened, and yeah, so now we're just going to start walking, and go up there, up the track behind us there, up there, and get to the heart and hopefully it's not as clagged in as we think we might be able to get out tonight up to the top but if not we'll hunt around the hut and around the faces over there and try and get one over there but yep that's happening so stay tuned and hopefully we get one we've just made it to a little secluded lake and it's pretty isolated this lake and it's got a lot of native trout white bait, freshwater crayfish probably, and all the other stuff. But yeah, we've been walking for about an hour and a bit now. Still got a long way to go, a couple of really steep uphills, but it's pretty chilled. And yeah, I'll just show you guys the lake. This is the lake here. But yep. Yeah. I'll give you guys a look. This is the lake here. Pretty cool little lake. Dad just spotted a deer that walked across way over there. Over there on the flat. There's dad there. But yep, yeah, he spotted a deer. Just making its way off the little flat way over there. But, probably just going to keep going, make our way up the hill over there, and then cross over into the big flat. But yeah, it's pretty good. It's dead there. But yeah. 
be this it's pretty clagged and up the valley but tomorrow morning should be right we'll go up there tomorrow morning up to the tops get into a big stack hopefully but yep stay tuned again one very steep uphill later and we made it to the top of this little hill and then now we just got to do our descent down to the flat and hopefully when we get to the hut get all set up and then knock across in the evening and hopefully see a deer hopefully a stag or even a pig right now there'll be a few pigs kicking around because of this rain been rooting up the area so we just gotta make our way down to the flat it'll be pretty easy and yeah should be pretty good just made it to the flat we just had a wee glass around didn't see anything but it's pretty open now we're just gonna make our way up there and through those trees and get around that corner to the hut and glass on the faces across but it's clagged in around the corner so going up the hill will be tomorrow but yeah it's pretty good just need to keep cruising now get to the hut and set up camp put the sleeping bag in and then go around the corner and try and see if we can spot a pig or a deer hopefully a stag but yeah it's the plan we've made it we're at the hut now um yeah we're gonna have lunch and then do a bit of glassing on these faces across the valley over there on those faces over there and try and spot a deer or a pig and then go around the corner this evening try and see if we can spot a deer or a pig if not come back to the hut wake up early in the morning and hopefully we can go up there if it's good enough which right now it's really clagged in it's a little bit showing but there's been a lot of snow and it's May the 25th and there's been heaps of snow up on the tops so hopefully the deer have moved a bit down into like the big clearing hill bits and hopefully we can get onto one tonight and this evening or hopefully a big stag or a nice good good eating pig but yeah hopefully we can get one and get back when I see one or get one we're going for an evening hunt now um it's good weather for it been raining all day now it's just stopped raining but it's still very cloudy very fogged yeah but we're gonna walk around the corner and glass the face for the evening in hopes that we can locate a deer or a big pig it is currently 447 and yeah we're gonna just go around the corner and just sit and wait and hopefully one pops out we can have a go at it if it is a good stag. We're after stags on this trip. Stags and pigs. And even if we see a big chamois, we shoot it. But yeah, we're just gonna head off now and hope that we can locate one. But yep, yeah. we'll get back to yous if we see one. Evening hunt didn't go to plan. We didn't see anything because it's just too much clagged in. We couldn't see through the fog. But we're looking around and nah, didn't see anything. But walking back, we heard some pigs squealing, which they do when they're just playing around. So in the morning, we're going to head over there, see if we can locate one of them, and see if we can put some gunpowder in them, put some lead in them. But yeah. No, we're just sitting back now and having a coffee and just chilling, waiting for sleep. And then we go to sleep, wake up, and then try and go to where we were before and see if we can get onto one of those pigs. And hopefully there's a stag in the area or a deer. But, yep, see you in the morning. Alright guys and girls, it's now the morning, 
it's a new day, the worst today, it's like the first day, nice full day for hunting. And we've got the fire cranking, we're making pancakes for breakfast, and we're just going to wait until it gets a bit lighter, and we're going to head out for a walk, and try and locate a stag or a pig. We're not going up to the top today, I don't think. Might go up halfway area, but the tops are just really clagged in, right down low. And there'd be no way of seeing anything if we go up there. So there's no point in going up there for no reason. Because you, you can't even see the hill it's that clagged in. So we'll just hang around here and try and find one across the valley or down the valley. But, yep, it's pretty good. Nice cold morning, I went outside the other end, it's about minus two, minus one. And, yeah, just gonna eat these pancakes, get ready, and probably head off for a walk. Stag Rob. There's another one down there. But this one's a pretty big one. Really big stag. Yeah, look at it there. It's a big stag Rob. We've just walked away. I'm just sitting down now watching this face across me. And we're not hitting the tops because there's just so much snow as you can see in the background. There's just a lot of snow up there. That's where we want to go. Up there, but there's just too much snow. So I'm just glassing the faces across. I haven't seen anything yet, but I'm sure hopefully this evening something will pop out and we'll get a look at it and then maybe close the gap and try and put a shot away. But for now it's just sitting and glassing and hoping that one will turn up out of the bush. Last night we were just looking up on the face across us but it was just too clagged and we couldn't even see above the bush. And the bush is just, uh, just down there. But we're just gonna chill here and just watch. It's only 2.32 so it's early. Yeah. But it's a nice day. Yesterday was a bit rain and cloudy. Today it's nice and sunny which is gonna do. I was going to say, we might be heading out on Thursday or Friday, because Friday is meant to pour down with rain, and it's meant to be a northwest, and the lake will be very rough, so we might be heading out on Thursday, which will be fine, there won't be, any, there won't be a flat lake and all that, and we'll go for a fish, and on Sunday, we're going down south to go tar hunting, which I will video, get some footage from that, but right now, it's just try and look for an animal. If we can't shoot a stag, then I might shoot a yearling or something for a meat. Shoot a wee meat animal. But right now, it's just... Try and find one first. But nah. Hopefully one comes out, though, sooner. And then I'll go across and hopefully put some lead away. But right now... I'm just looking at this big face, big sunny face. So, yep. Should be good. I'll show you guys the face. These are the faces I'm glassing. These ones here. I'm just glassing around these bits here. And up here and then around these faces in here. But I haven't seen anything yet. But something should hopefully come out. Gotta keep hope.
the enemy have split up and gone different ways to double our chances in getting one. I'm going to the spot we I just came from. Dad's going to another bit and hopefully I can get a pig or a deer out of where I'm going to. And hopefully Dad can maybe see a deer or something like that. And hopefully he can pull the trigger on a deer. Where he's going, there's only more deer than pig. So, yep. I've just got to make my way through all this bush now and start getting into the openings. And then I'll start glassing. Wait till dark. Hope for, hope for something coming out. So, yep. I'll see you guys if I see anything. chances but you never know but hopefully gotta have hope but yeah I'll see you guys when we're walking back we just I just spotted a big spawning salmon you might be able to see it see its white tail in the middle of the screen it's just sitting in the current big, it's like maybe 15, 12 pound spawning salmon in a small river. It's 
going up the spawn. I'm walking back now. Um, just had a wee stop at the river that runs through this valley, and there was a salmon about maybe seven, eight pound sitting in it, and I got some GoPro footage. I'm putting the GoPro under the water and videoing it and it swam towards the bank and dad breaches under and grabs it and pulls out the salmon we got some pictures of that that'll be in the video so we dad caught a salmon by hand really old spawning salmon going up to spawn and then die his tail was pretty much chewed from other salmons biting it which is cool and it's got salmon it's good it's getting more salmon up here but yeah we released it swam off fine went straight back down to the pool and now we're walking back out to the lake and try and catch a salmon of our own that's not as old as that one and hopefully catching trout it's a beautiful day today and it's today it's over, <laughs> it has to be today that the tops are finally not clagged in and we're walking out today to the lake to go to another spot which is alright that's a beautiful day today a little bit of wind not too bad but I'm just gonna keep cruising I'll show you guys around the and show you guys the tops and what it looks like right now I'm not clagged in a bit of snow up the top but not as bad and yeah no it's pretty good I'll show you guys the tops to the tops here and it's not too bad that's where we're meant to be going way in through there but we couldn't because it's too clagged in but now it's not clagged in we just need to walk out which will be maybe two and a half hours since we've got heavy packs or about oh, probably about two hours actually it's 12 o'clock we spent about 35 minutes trying to get that salmon and got it we released it which is good bit of excitement and hopefully we can go catch a few fish ourselves and hopefully shoot a deer this evening if we're lucky gotta be in to win making my way down the hill making it to the small isolated lake which is just over here it's a beautiful day today it's a really nice day Yeah. Just make a little wee drop point. Someone's having to say drop their thing down there or something. Come across the creek. The lake's look the lake looks awesome today. This ain't the lake where the boat is, but it's the little isolated lake. It's an amazing little lake this one. Use the lake. Just amazing. It's got white bait everywhere in it. You see right there, you might be able to see it. White bait crossing that white line. That's it for this trip. Um, it's it not a bad trip. We've seen two shimmy, about nine deer. Um, caught a few fish. I caught a little salmon on the way out while trawling. Dad caught one in my hand in the bush. And we caught a few trout, so yeah, stay tuned for the times and